Okay, we are live and we are back from break. Uh, we're going to continue our discussion on student waiting and cost equity. And we're deciding everything other than ELL if we're going to be doing weights, cost equity, or some mixture thereof. Um, and our witness today is Mark Schober. Did I massacre yep. it? No, not a massacre. It's Mark Schauber. Uh, Schauber um, for the Coalition uh, for Vermont Student Equity. So, Mr. Schauber, um, welcome. And uh, the floor is yours. We just ask you to introduce yourself and who you represent for the record. And then uh, tell, us, tell us a little bit about the Vermont Coalition for Student Equity and what you'd like us to hear. You got it. Um, so my name is Mark Schauber. Um, I am the executive director for the Coalition um, for Vermont Student Equity. Um, and uh, we're a, um, a coalition, a nonprofit coalition of school boards from um, all parts of the state. Um, we currently represent um, 25 districts, um, more than 19,000 students from uh, 11 counties and um, 80 cities and towns. We joined together a little over a year ago now um, for the sole purpose of advocating for the implementation of the recommendations from the People Waiting Directors Report. Um, and um, we, um, we do have, we're, we're made up mostly of underweight uh, districts, but we do have some overweight districts, uh, including Peachum and my own hometown, Dover. Um, who have joined us um, because they, they realize that uh, equity doesn't mean uh, winners and losers, um, but that everyone uh, gets what they need to succeed. Um, I, I have submitted my, um, my full comments in writing to, to Faith. Um, I think given that uh, the uh, draft bill came out today um, and the coalition hasn't had a chance to uh, fully analyze it yet, um, I, I don't want to spend too much time or waste your time going through my, my comments um, in great detail. Um, in general, uh, we're uh, encouraged with the direction that, that you all are, are taking um, and um, uh, appreciate the, um, the emphasis on continuing use of the weights um, and the implementation of the recommendations from Professor Colby, um, all of her weights, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I, I'd have, a, a, I think, just a couple of small uh, topics uh, that I just want to touch on quickly with you. Um, one is the uh, poverty count. Um, uh, we were very happy to see the, uh, uh, the universal income form as part of your bill um, and believe that that is the, the way to move forward. Um, we have some concerns about uh, the free and reduced lunch um, and the undercounting of some um, poverty students, uh, especially in high poverty areas and in rural areas, um, because of uh, you know, COVID and the universal meals that we um, that we have from the mm -hmm. feds now and districts that um, already provide universal meals. Um, so we just encourage you to, to um, implement the uh, universal form as, as uh, quickly as you can. Um, and, and then last, I guess I'd just say that um, uh, we uh, uh, appreciate as, um, as speedy as um, uh, an implementation of the weights as, as possible. Um, these districts have been um, underfunded for um, essentially a quarter century now um, and um, could really use, uh, could really use the, the help. Um, like I said, you, you have my written comments. Um, I just, I don't want to spend all your time going through them since uh, we didn't have a chance to evaluate all the details of the bill yet. Okay, well, the bill it's a committee bill and it was drafted just right for the moment to reflect the recommendations of the task force. This committee will now proceed to go through it line by line and pick it apart. So if there's something you think we should know, let us know. Um, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, well, I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll say that um, uh, you know, if 
in regards to you know cost equity versus the the pupil weights, um, I think one of our biggest concerns is that with cost equity, um, you, you don't really have um, equity um, because you're taking an, an average amount throughout the state. You essentially have a bell curve where you've got you know some districts that are going to uh, get the average, and that's going to be what they need. Then you can have a, a lot of districts that get more than they need, and a lot of districts that get less than they need. Um, and, and you don't have that with the uh, with the weights. Um, they're, they're designed to um, to overcome that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's see. Um, just give me a second to, to get my thoughts together. Um, I think that. Um, As I mentioned, the, 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 the poverty count with the free and reduced lunch um, is, is a concern, but the universal um, income form um, solves that, that problem. Um, and, sorry, let me just pull up some, if you don't mind. Uh, let's see. So, um, I think you, you've heard a lot from um, the VSBA um, and the, the superintendents, and we believe that, um, like I said, and it's in the bill, but um, that uh, your inclination to adopt uh, the corrected weights um, as opposed to going with the, the cost equity model um, is a wise decision. Um, and some of the reasons for that um, um, would be that, uh, like I said, the um, sorry, that the, um, the cost equity model won't uh, provide equity uh, to all districts. Um, the, the current weights um, work within our existing system um, and superintendents and business managers um, understand that system. Um, and um, as you've heard from uh, Professor Colby, uh, the weights are, are designed um, with cost containment in mind. Um, uh, I, I, I think, I think it's going to uh, cover it for now. You have my comments, um, and I think that they um, kind of speak for themselves. Um, I don't want to go through every bullet point, but um, I, I, uh, there's no question that um, we're encouraged with the um, with the current bill and, and hope that you will continue um, advancing this draft um, without too many modifications. Any questions? Mr. Schauber. Okay. Sorry, it just sounds uh, okay. <laughs> it's hard for me to see Thank anything. You. We look forward to reading your testimony. I know it's been posted. Great. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Okay.